hi hi today we shall be talking about talking about the association ship between r square and f statistics right so the association ship between r square and f statistics suppose the value of r square is very small then should we accept the model so that is the issue today suppose the value of r square is is very small after estimating the model then should we accept the model so that we shall be talking today and here we have uh, three variables one is er what is called er exchange rate exchange rate and we have another variable m2 that is money supply and finally we have one more GDP that is gross domestic product we have all these three variable I can make it zoom for you you can see all the variables right exchange rate ER GDP and money supply we have these three variables right and our sample size is from 1960 until 1990 that means 31 sample that means 31 data we have in total and here GDP is our dependent variable okay now now uh, we can uh, estimate this model estimate equation right and the first is the dependent variable GDP then constant then M2 money supply then I put exchange rate ER so I can make it zoom for you so this is my model the GDP is the dependent variable M2 and ER are independent variable from 1960 until 1990 okay. then uh, I run this model here is the results the GDP is the dependent variable right and M2 and ER are independent variable and uh, and M2 is it significant yes because probability value is only 0.47 percent which is less than 5 percent meaning that M2 is a significant variable to explain GDP then what about our second variable that is ER ER is it significant no because the probability value is 65.88 percent which is more than 5 percent so exchange rate or ER is not significant variable to explain our GDP okay here out of these two variable one is significant so we are happy about the model because out of two one is significant and what is the guideline the guideline is at least 50 percent variable should be significant to have a good regression model 50 percent or more 50 percent or more variable should be significant 
to be a good regression model. And here out of two, one is significant, that is M2. So we are happy about it. Okay, okay. then I talk about our main issue, R square. What is R square? We call it joint test. Uh, the value of R square is how much? 25.33%. So I'm writing here, the value of R square is here, how much? It is 25.33%, right? Okay, what is the meaning of this 25.33%? The meaning of this, I can say that 25.33% variation in GDP can be explained by our two independent variables such as M2 and ER jointly. Okay, I am telling again, 25.33% fluctuation of GDP can be explained by our two variables such as M2 and ER jointly. And the rest and the rest what is called rest what is rest meaning that 100% minus 25.33% uh, meaning that almost 74% uh, right 74% around right around 74% okay and so what does mean by this 74 percent okay here uh, i can tell it again that 25.33 percent variation in in gdp can be explained by m2 and er jointly and 74% of variation in GDP can be explained by other variables. Other variables that is not by M2 and ER. Other variables that means other variables can influence the GDP 74% and M2 and ER can influence only 25.33% meaning that this model is not nicely fitted because this M2 and ER only influence 25.33% and 74% of the fluctuation of GDP can be explained by other variables outside this model, outside this model, meaning that other variables can influence more than M2 and ER. As a result, our data or our variable is not fitted well. So we cannot accept the model. Okay, but the problem is that these R square value actually talk about sample result not population outcome it is the sample outcome meaning that the sample we have collected so it cannot talk about population that means actually what happens in the real world 
in the real world actually what happens okay that thing can be explained by f statistics that means this r square actually talk about uh, r square actually talk about joint significance test at the same time f statistics also talk about joint significance test but r square talk about joint significance within the sample but f statistics talk about joint significance of these two variable in the population and in the population is the most important that means actually what happens okay we check the f statistics how much 4.75 and corresponding probability value it is 1.6 percent so the p value of the f statistics is how much the p value of the f statistics is uh, 1.6 percent right 1.67 percent and which is one point sorry one point six seven percent which is which is less than five percent so we can say that f statistics is significant meaning that m2 and er these two variable jointly can influence gdp in the population that is more important so f statistics significant means m2 and er jointly can influence gdp in the population so meaning that m2 and er are joints are significant jointly significant jointly to explain GDP in the population so meaning that that is the most important result so what is our decision M2 and ER jointly can influence GDP but according to the R square value uh, and, and the result is a sample outcome that only m2 and er can influence can jointly influence gdp only 25.33 percent that means they influence gdp jointly very small amount but the but the problem is that this result actually sample outcome that means from the data we have taken and that is only very small our data is almost 30 31 right our data is almost 31 so from this 31 we cannot take any decision so we have to depend on the f statistics and the corresponding probability value that talk about joint significancy in the population so what is the our outcome the outcome is uh, if the r square value becomes small but if the f statistics become significant then we should not worry about the model we should not worry we should not worry about the model because f statistics is significant although r square value is low but still we can accept the model 
and we can say that our two independent variable jointly can influence GDP. Thank you very much for being with me for a while.